Hey, Highlander fans, Mike Ventola back with you after an exciting weekend at Jim Hines Stadium on the campus of Kane University as NJIT winning the series against Binghamton, allowing them to control their own destiny going into this upcoming weekend when they welcome in UMBC uh, to New Jersey. And I'm very excited to have Albert Choi with us, the leadoff hitter here for NJIT baseball. And Albert, what a big series win over the Bearcats. Uh, certainly a lot of enthusiasm coming from your dugout all weekend long. Uh, how does it feel now going into this final series to be controlling your own destiny? Oh, oh, it's amazing. Um, we came into this weekend knowing that um, if we could go three and one or sweep or even even split, that we'd have a be in a good position to to make playoffs um, coming into this last weekend. So going three one was huge. Um, it was a big big team wins and just um, huge momentum for us. And we're just keep keeping the uh, the bats and the arms rolling. So I'm um, excited for next weekend. You know, certainly after game one where Tyler Stafflinger pitched extremely well, Binghamton was able to win game one by a score four to two. But then you guys on Saturday were able to come back in game two, win two to nothing behind a really good start from Ryan Fisher. Um, you know, for Ryan arguably turning in his best start of the season, what was it like for you, especially Manning center field and watching him work and pitching your team to a game two victory? Oh, having uh, Fish and staff as well, all of our pitchers actually, um, it's just um, – it's super lucky to have, um, especially in the outfield. I mean, they do a lot um, by getting ground balls and just striking people out. So we usually don't have to do too much as an outfield. But um, it's, it's, uh, it's good to know that as an offense that we can score, you know, even if we're having an off day, like three or four runs, like that can still get us a win um, just from having great – great pitching staff and great starters um so it's really really a, a blessing to have them no certainly and of course uh, for jake rapaport able to come in uh, set the single season save mark uh and able to uh close out game number two but also for you you know you've been bat lead off pretty much all season long you're on base all four games and even had a big two run home run uh, on sunday as well and you know for you um how it seems like you're so comfortable, especially being the true table setter. But then to get a chance to uh, flex your muscles a little bit and hitting a two-run uh, home run, uh, how did you feel that this series went for you individually? And uh, how excited are you to get back out there uh, against UMBC? Oh, I'm I'm so excited for uh, next weekend. You know, I think all of our preparation and work that we put in, like we deserve this. And um, just yeah, I I really just care about our team winning, and and you know the stats will come and everything and. Um, as long as I can help the team win, that's all I want to do. So it is really, um, it's really exciting that we get a chance to just make the playoffs next weekend and keep our team rolling. Cause we've been, boys have been hot and, and we're just, uh, just keep, keep it, keeping it going. And, uh, and I think a big part of that is just, we've really embraced, especially this past, over, past month, we've embraced just being a family and, uh, and playing for each other. And when we can play for each other, um, when we, when we know we're a family, we can play loose, we can play hard, and we can we can count on each other um, to, to keep everything rolling. So, now You bring up a good point there, and uh, your enthusiasm was very evident throughout the weekend. And, you know, for under head coach Robbie McClellan, it just seems like things are loose. You guys are playing well here at the right time. And, you know, but going into this week, um, going into this weekend here against UMBC, I'm sure over practice this week, uh, um, looking forward to working on anything for you yourself. I mean, at this point, it's late in the year. You, you know, you know what you've been doing well. Uh, anything for you that you'd like to continue to work on in preparation uh, for the upcoming series? Um, I think I just want to keep um, just keep playing uh, and preparing how I have been. Um, just I think me playing loose and just um, and seeing the ball well. That's just been doing good things for me. So. Um, I think so far we've we've just been on a roll and just want to keep it going. That's awesome. Well, Albert, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Uh, best of luck this upcoming weekend. Uh, continue to enjoy those victories from this past weekend and uh, looking forward to seeing you soon. Awesome. Yep. Sounds good. All right, folks, that is Albert Choi, center fielder for NJIT Baseball. I'm Mike Ventola, and as always, thanks for watching.